Hey plant gang, what you're looking at here is Cephalotaxis herringtonia, the Japanese plum yew. There's several different types of plum yews. The one that I'm zoomed in here on is one that has a little bit more of a weeping form, but there are quite large ones, ones that are very upright, uh, and you will be able to uh, find a plum yew uh, that is suitable for almost any situation. Uh, this is an evergreen conifer. Uh, that is a plant that we find in the home landscape uh, in situations where maybe you want to not have a regular taxis or a yew, a place where you need an evergreen, uh, something that keeps its foliage year round. Now, the one thing that I want you to clue in on is the foliage. Typically, on plum yew, the foliage is upswept, and so you want to look for that. Uh, it has fruit on it right now. Uh, this plant can be used in particularly happy in a partial shade situation. Uh, loves good drainage, uh, but look out for cultivars that meet your need. Probably one of the most popular ones on the market is called Duke's Garden. It's a quite upright one uh, found on the at Serapy Duke Garden on the campus of Duke University. Uh, but this is a great alternative to some other evergreens and can find a place in the home garden. Cephalotaxis herringtonia, the Japanese plum yew. In the family Cephalotaxaceae, this is an evergreen with very simple linear needle-like foliage. Uh, that can be either spirally, spirally arranged or completely upswept. Cultivar dependent can be as low as two or three foot high, as high as 30 foot uh, high, can spread out between five and 30 foot wide. Wide spreading shrub or even a small tree you could classify this. Uh, Japanese plum yew is native, uh, um, excuse me, is hardy from zone six through above. Loves moist, well-drained soil, soil. Once it's established, it can be drought tolerant. Here's a landscape tip. Excellent shade tolerant alternative to taxus species. Now taxus is T-A-X-U-S. Excellent shade tolerant alternative to tax species. Should be used more in the south.